Hello everyone, today I'm going to be showing you a new device I got. It's a Samsung Galaxy Player 5.0, or depending on where you may live, the Samsung Galaxy S Wi-Fi 5.0. The only difference is between this one and the international version is task manager is open. Alright is on the bottom there's a button you can kind of see on the screen protector where that button would be but I got the wrong screen protector but it still protects my screen and it fits it um, on the bottom there would be a HDMI port right there mini HDMI port not a HDMI and on back there's a 5 megapixel camera instead of a 3.2 um so let me clean it off I'm just using my screen protector, so it really doesn't matter if I scratch it. I'm going to be getting an invisible shield instead of a cheap eBay one. So, first of all, we're going to take a look at the physical device. So, it is very thin. Um, if any of you guys have ever had an NES, which I will show you Super Nintendo emulation, it fits in the cart slot. In the inter it just fits in there. Okay. Um, or if you have an MB Touch, I don't know how many of you guys will, but yeah, you can see. Let's see which one is thinner. <laughs> actually, both of these devices are actually kind of heavy together. Hold on, I can't really tell which is heavier. I'll have to get a scale and tell you guys. Okay, so on the front you have a speaker up there. You can use that for phone calls using something like text free or Skype. Skype right now isn't working with that for some reason and it only uses like, your speakers, which um, our amazing dog could do that. But text free I know for sure doesn't work with that little tiny speaker. You have a pinhole front webcam right here. Uh Samsung logo. You have a eight hundred by four eighty to display resolution, five inch screen. At the bottom you have this differentiates on your current model. You have back button, home button, slash capacitive home button, and then menu. Um, on this side, you have nothing at all. Up here, you have a lanyard. Here, you have a micro SD card slot. Here, you have your volume rocker and your power switch button. On the bottom, you have your um, pow or your, uh, you have your headphone and headset jack. You have a little pinhole mic here. And you also have your micro SD card slot and some screw covers. Um, on the back, I think you've seen this before, but this particular one says Galaxy Player 5.0. I wish it would focus, but it's kind of close for autofocus. Let me use manual. There we go. Okay, so Galaxy Player 5.0, we have speaker, another speaker, serial number, <laughs> and we have our camera. So that is it for the physical device. Now let's, well, actually, I'll go for the specs first. So it has a 1 gigahertz hummingbird processor. Um, this particular one is rooted. I've rooted it, but I'm going to pretend that it's not rooted for the purpose of this review. Um, so it has, I believe it's like 386 megabytes of RAM. Let me see. You guys don't get to see the screen yet. I'll show you guys in a second. 377. That's close. Alright. So... You have 377 megabytes of RAM, and then you also have 8 gigabytes of onboard storage, and up to 32 gigabyte ex expandable micro storage. You have a GPS, compass, you have obviously Wi-Fi, you have, well, GPS, I told you that already. Yeah, we'll, we'll get into it when we get into the software, but you do have a lot of things. Oh, and one of the really cool features about this thing is that since it's the Galaxy Player 
it accepts almost any file format you can throw at it. I've actually tested it. It does. I downloaded a random thing off of a legit Pirate Bay and put it on here. It worked no problem. And it wasn't, and I just downloaded the PC version of it. Sound file. Not sound file, but. I also put some iTunes videos on here and some music videos. I put some music from iTunes on here. I put a bunch of things on here. And I'm going to be showing you some different games. So let's turn around. If you guys are curious to what I'm going to be using to hold this up, a Diary of a Wimpy Kid book. It works. It's pretty much the perfect height. All right. So let's begin. So I have my unlock. Oh no, you saw my unlock. Okay. Camera's not adjusting right. Let's see. Let's change my brightness and see if anything's better. Okay, that looks good on camera. It's a little dim in person, but it'll be fine for the purpose of the review. Uh, you can see I only have 25% battery, but the battery lasts like forever in this thing. Like literally, you'll see in this review. Okay, so first of all, we're gonna go through my home screens. You can see my home screens. I don't have all my home screens filled out, but we have eight home screens. Let's go for classic Angry Birds. Okay. So, Ropia. Angry Birds. It doesn't load up like a Tiger 3 process for wood, but... So... Granted, I'm not the best at Angry Birds. So don't judge my Angry Birds skills. Okay, so we go... Yeah. <laughs> I don't know, the first level, I don't know. They've modified it and it's weird now. But yeah, that's Angry Birds, you can see it plays just fine. Let's show... Super Monkey Ball 2. Sorry about all the fingerprints. No, oh, actually, let's go shut off the way. Come on. That's fucking. Okay. Alright, so right now it's just asking me if I would like to resume my previous saved game. I'm gonna have to say. Okay, so you can see touch the screen. It's actually a lot smoother. I don't know why it's showing that way on the camera. Probably because my computer still sucks. Um, so we can go to mini games and then there's normal games. I'm just going to show you a mini game for the purpose of showing you how nice and fluid it is. Um, I'm going to show you a monkey target. This is actually my favorite. So this involves tilting the thing, so I'll show you that. Okay. So I have no line it. If it touch the continue. Well, you get the point, it performs really nice and smooth. Yes, I'm using an autofocus camera now, which is nice. Although my computer still sucks. Uh, let's show you some emulation. This is a Super Nintendo emulator. It's called Super Gen S. Now, I'm going to say the controls are not good on this game, or on this emulator. That's That's not the galaxy's fault, really. Think about it, because I mean, how, how does a galaxy have anything to do with this? I mean, the touch screen is nice, but it, you can't, it's not the same as using a button. You can't rock like that on the buttons, just because of the way the touch screen interface works. I mean, but it do, it does run them nice and smooth. You can see, nice and smooth. 
It's kind of hard to control. Like I said, that's not the um, that's not the galaxy's fault for running it. Like I mean, it runs it perfect, but I'm saying it's not the galaxy's fault for the bad controls. It's just the way touchscreen interfaces will work. I believe this emulator supports a keyboard, but the Galaxy does not have a keyboard. I'm t I want to get a Bluetooth keyboard for this. But okay. So, that was that. So, it plays emulator is nice. Let's show you... <sighs> okay, right here. BGBA. Okay, this is a free emulator. Not free, this was 499, I'm sorry. Um, I have Pokemon loaded up here. This is... Let's see. It's Pokemon. GBA emulator. Runs it as good as a GBA emulator would run. No slowdowns. I don't know if I can tilt it. Fight, scratch. So you can see it pretty it performs really nice. I mean I have I mean for emulate and this is a great emulation device as long as you have some kind of wireless controller or keyboard for it. It'd be great for emulation. Game Boy emulation is a little bit better. If you're playing like Pokemon. Yeah. Uh let's play Tumble Run. Since this is a pretty popular game right now, too. This is fr the free version. I do have the paid version, but it's it's really just a difficult game to play. Even I've even seen videos on a Tiger 3 processor in it, and it even lags on that. And it's like one of the best tablet processors there is. But uh, I'll show you it anyway. It's just a single port processor in this thing, but it runs nice. As you can see, everything is nice and snappy. The camera is the one that's lagging, not not me, or not my Galaxy. Just because my my computer. Netflix performance nice on it. I'll show you that in a minute. Okay. Alright, so now I'll show you Netflix. You see, I still have 25% battery. This battery in this thing is awesome. 2500 milliamp battery. Keep in mind I'm in my basement, I don't have the best Wi Fi signal. <sighs> okay. So let's play Raising Your Hope Out of the And I have a crappy old router, so. To avoid copyright, I'm not going to keep playing it, but you saw it played nice. And it does, like I said, it has the flash in it. Nice bright. You see, it lights up my whole desk if I want it to. I can put it up on the top of my desk and use it to write. With. I can scratch pad or I just have it cleaning off my desk like that. And I can have it literally. Another desk lamp. I mean, I still have a nice one like that, but <clears throat> still pretty nice. Um, videos, like I said, you can put almost anything. Here is a XVID file off of the Pirate Bay. Yes, the, bright, the screen did brighten up. I have it set by default to do that. It's an XVID file. <laughs> Okay, so now I'm going to show you just the way you are, Bruno Mars. You can see it plays nice. 
This is just an iTunes file, you can see I can zoom it in. But that's actually, I guess, how it is. You can see it plays nice. And that's just, that's an iTunes file. Uh, here's another iTunes file, Red Solo Cup. Camera doesn't like it when it's on higher brightness. <laughs> um, what else do I want to show you? Okay, I'm going to show you the default apps it comes with. So it comes with contacts. It's pretty typical. Samsung app, clock, calendar, camera, gallery, Play Store, maps, talk, Gmail, my files, calculator, settings, email, all share. And all share is media sharing. Battery percentage? No, it doesn't come with that. Voice recorder, memo, menu diary, think office free, or think free office. I don't really see the point of this because you really can't create documents, you can just view them. Unless I'm missing something. If you have a galaxy, let me know. Latitude, task manager, search, navigation, voice search, social hub. Social hub. It's kind of like a place where you can have all your accounts, Facebook, sync off, I can sync it on, sync contacts, I guess. I don't know. I don't know how that works. So I'm just going to turn the syncing back off. So I have it synced with all my Gmail and everything. But it shows you all your different accounts. Um, downloads. Yeah, it's downloads. FM radio. Now this is actually really cool. Okay. So granted, I'm in a basement right now, so this, it won't work that great. Okay, and you do need an antenna. <clears throat> oh, shit. Good thing the bulb didn't break. Sorry for the language. Okay, so FM radio. So if I just try to turn it on, it says that your phone not connected. So I'm gonna just plug in my speakers for my computer. Here, I just plug these in. I mean, it's, I'm downstairs, so the signal doesn't come in that great. But it comes in really good downstairs. I can go. Okay, that station doesn't come in down here, but it doesn't come in that great anymore. I'm trying to do it in a viewfinder. It does tell you if you're in a, when you're getting a free hearing. So if you want to, you can go via speaker. This song, I guess, is going to fly every station in the window. Now let's go back to this. So if you want to, you can go to all channels. After you scan them, and this is all the ones that come in up for you, so you can see a lot of them if you do come in. Settings, before you do use this, you want to change it from worldwide to USA. And the very reason is that, it'll work on you or that, when you go to tune it. If I set it on the wrong line. If I go to tune it, you can see it does that. Yes, you, you're UK and not everything else is a little bit more advanced. I don't know. So if you just set it to USA, it will craft your region. Background playing, I'll just say I have that on. That's not auto off, you can set it like a music timer almost. That's pretty neat. Okay, let's get done with that. <laughs> let's turn the light back off. Um, camera works nice. What else do I want to show you? Fruit Ninja. Free, by the way. <laughs> so we have a half brick. Oh, I want a full brick, though. So let's quit.
so you can see how it works. So you just spell slice. So I haven't tried to make game mode yet, yeah, let's see. It doesn't look like there's a timer on this. Minus 10. <laughs> you can see it plays nice, huh? New game. Then more. Yep, so, that plays nice. You can see I still have 25% battery. And yes, I do keep clicking free app killer. But, um, Samsung does have a built-in one. If you hold down your home button, you get a task manager right here, and then you can click that. Um, or in my case, I'd slide down and go to open task killer if I really want to go through it more in detail. Um, but if you go to the Samsung app, it will tell you all your downloaded applications, and if you want to uninstall them, you can. Uh, clear memory if you want to. Three applications are closed. And then, system storage. Samsung partitions are weird. External SD card, internal SD card, personal data, system storage. I don't get it. But, as long as it's not running out of storage, I don't care. Uh... Usually it's not this slow. Okay. Flash player? Okay, let's show a flash player performance. Now I'd love to show you on um, Meat Spin for purpose of laughter, but YouTube won't let me do that, so after you YouTube. So I have to show you PSP on me. Okay. So I can zoom in, you can see it's nice and smooth. Click here. Uh, let's pick... What do I want to pick? Super Mario Flash. So it says slow, but then again, this is designed for PSP. So you click the play button. And you can see... I don't know if I'll be able to play this at great limitations of... Well, in fact, it was designed for PSP. I don't know how I can get play on this. Okay, there we go. Alright, well, that's, I think, a an example. Let's show you do the Mario. So... Okay. Oops. This is not the player's fault. It's because Android won't let you zoom in on Flash. And you can't make an audio. So that's Flash playing. I also have a game that uses Flash. So I'll show you that. This is a pretty classic game. This is just a Flash game then. So I go. Oh yeah! Let's see, what else do I want to show you? Let's show a little bit more of intensive of a game, Need for Speed Shift. And then I'll show you Timber Run. The Disney version of it. You can see it's pretty loud. Uh, 
I just got that. And somebody just called me at my text free number. I'll call them back. You have their number. I have no idea who the hell that is. They just randomly called me. Alright, let's get back to the show. So I'll give them a call, restricted, and mess around with them. Okay, it's just a kind of reason I can focus. So you can see it plays nice and smooth. So overall, this is a great device. Yeah, I got it for $180 on eBay refurb on Tiger Direct. Okay, here's the Disney version of Temple Run. Like I said, it, I've read the reviews and it even struggles on a Tiger 3 processor. So I don't expect it to play that great. And it's not as yellow as it appears. I have to mention that. It's just the camera. Not the color saturation is and everything. So you can see this game takes a little while to load. You can kind of see why. It's shown in a lot of detail, so. So it'll play. Yeah, this is a lot more um, graphically intensive than the original Temple one. Now, it's not, it doesn't struggle at this point in, on the Tiger 3, but once you get a little bit further in the game, it starts struggling on the Tiger 3 even. This was 99 cents, I believe. I still find the original one good enough. I don't get this. I have to shoot incoming targets. Oh. Tilted caught twins. Oh. Yeah, I died. Alright, point is, it plays pretty good. And it wags up my device. <laughs> okay. So, this is a first-hand review of the galaxy that is not complete yet. Let's do just one more song. 
guess the saw. One more game. The now I'll show you the speaker, speakers with some music. So country. Can I run it? Oh, no. I'm not that great at this. That's a little gum. Uh, no. no, you get the point. Um, now I'll just show you the speakers to their full extent. I will show you that with some good old do wacky do. Carol, you're doing well. Good things have come to you. I wish I had two happiness. And you had a do I could And now I'm gonna compare it to these speakers I got for fifteen bucks. Just to show you how wild the bag you are. Okay, so I'm gonna turn these up all the way. Do I could do, I could do, I could do, I could do. They tell me, and then your days are never. You can see it's almost as loud, almost. Maybe not as good of definition as these ones because well, these ones are bigger. But blue, I wish I had your quick look charm. So you can see these are the speakers poke into this is almost as loud as these. Almost. Not quite as well, but still almost. That's pretty good. Okay, so if there's anything else you want to see on this device, drop me a comment. And this is probably one of my longest videos on this account. But I should. No, well, I guess I guess I might could Skype. Let's sign out of Skype. Okay. So yes, you can do video chatting on this using the Skype. You can use Google Talk if you wanted to. You know, to video chat, but clock. You have Samsung Smart Alarm things. Three updates available. Let's see. Power Master Root Checker. Time when it came off. TV. Never fixes. Let's see if they fix this. Okay, you know what? Let's see if they. If this actually works now on the older versions of Android. Because this does not run the latest version of Android. I wish it would, but it runs 2.3.5 when the latest is like 4.1. Yeah, kind of unfortunate, but this is something you have to get over, that's all. I don't really think Samsung has been rolling out 4.0 to their devices. So I'm going to probably have to hide it so you don't see my username and password. Yeah, hold on. Oh, wait. So I'm going to see if I can watch live TV now. Because I couldn't before on the earlier update. You see, I'm still at 25% battery. Good focus, but, well, you can read that. <sighs> this app takes forever. It always did.
Yeah, I don't think I can on this new version either. But still pretty cool, and I can control my DVR. Control anything I want from here. Um, actually, if you have Time Warner Cable, that app is actually very good for playing pranks on people. Because you can, or they can be sitting there watching TV, and you can actually change the channel. You know, I'm going to go turn on the one in the other room so you can hear. And I'll change the channel for it. Alright, so you can hear it. That seems interesting. <laughs> So, so I gotta switch to the other device. Okay, so I just switched to the device in the living or in the room next to me. So now I'll say I want to change it to channel two. You see it changed. I want to change it to YNN. And I more public access. <laughs> well, this is not a. That's not about the Samsung Galaxy. You know what? Let me get this thing to shut up without getting up. Um, but uh, this is really a great device. I recommend it 100%. Uh, Samsung Galaxy is, well, awesome. It does have live wallpapers. Okay, so... So you do have live wallpapers. So if I get rain that falls too quickly to be able to infiltrate all at one time, doesn't matter. Just go to my rain garden and it sits there and slowly over a couple of days can go in. Great, no one cares, a lady. Well, that lady cut off. <laughs> no one likes her. Alright, but, yeah. It's just... Doodles, I would show you more games, but I'm... I'm way over what I should be. But, it's... A very good player. Excellent battery life. As you can still tell, it's on... I wish you could see. It's still on 25% battery. I do have this screen protector on here, so... Yeah, it's not... I need to get a new one. It's not properly aligned and everything, but... It works for now until I get a new one. It's better than nothing. Even though my home button's not protected, it's still, like I said, better than nothing. If you guys would... If you would like to see the front camera... I can't record on the front camera for some reason. But... I can take pictures. In the front camera. So if I go switch to the front camera, see my thumb. Hi. Okay, there's not actually two of me. It's because of reflection. Yeah. Wait. Wait. Uh. You can see. It's a picture. <laughs> it's kind of a scary picture of me, but it's a great device. I have some videos to upload from it for my or for the fireworks that we had. So you can be looking forward to that and the crappy music. All right, see you guys later.